Hi! I don't really know how to introduce this video at all, but if you didn't know, I've started doing artist alleys, which are basically when you go to a convention of any sort, but primarily what I do is like the nerdy anime video game conventions, and there's a designated area for either artists or dealers to just vend their art. So I recently started doing that, and this is kind of a half studio vlog, half artist alley vlog slash review of 2D Con. So to get started, um, I won't really be talking very much during my studio vlog since it's pretty straightforward. Um, basically, you'll be seeing me do my errands to get all of my supplies, working on prints, signage, and a new button display and making it safe, <laughs> which you'll you'll see what I mean later. And like I said, I won't really be talking too much during the studio vlog since it's just kind of supposed to be a relaxing video that you can watch or play in the background sort of thing.
Hi, I'm popping back in to talk about 2 Con and how it went. So as you can see, this is my cute little booth display right here. Um, regardless of that though, I want to just talk a little bit about 2 Con and how it was for me. So this was my first year at 2 Con and vending at it in general. I used to attend a lot of conventions in the Minneapolis area. Um, just as a normal attendee and cosplayer, but I don't really do that much anymore And I've always kind of wanted to do artist alley and vend at conventions So I'm really glad I'm finally starting to get into that and 2 Con was one of those conventions I had never really gone to before just because I didn't know it existed Previously, I would go to anime fusion and anime detour just to list a few regardless of that though 2 Con was pretty good for me. It's the best show I've had financially Granted, I'm still very new to all of this and working on my booth display and I just recently revamped my booth display and I think that really really helped. Regardless of that though, um, I will say, and 2 Con was fully aware of this and they have apologized since this happening, um, the artist alley was really really far away from anything else and that made traffic to the area really really hard. Not to mention that this is the first year they had a completely separate artist alley room from the market. And what was really confusing is they still had normal artists in the market. However, they took like half the artists and just shoved them into this little room up on the second floor that nobody went to. Um, granted though, nobody is quite the exaggeration and I still had really good traffic come to my booth. Um, but I will definitely say some of my neighbors probably did not do as well as I did just because they weren't in a certain niche that appealed to the main attendants. And I'll show this b-roll footage I got of how far away um, the artist alley is from the main market which was like a heavy traffic area which was right outside of the arcade so obviously when people are gaming and having fun um, as soon as they leave the arcade, they're gonna see the market and be like, oh, I'm gonna wander through here. With that, though, I will say the market felt almost very biased. Um, it seemed to me that a lot of the new artists attending 2D Con, uh, were shoved into that new artist alley room, which I don't think was very fair whatsoever, and I had voiced that to the organizers. I know many, many artists in the artist alley room would have totally paid more money to be in the market room. However, it was very confusing for everybody that all of the artists weren't in the same room together. And I think a lot of artists voiced that to the organizers and hopefully that'll change next year. Overall, the market seemed very biased to certain creators to heavily feature them. Which, that's probably just from an outsider perspective of not being in the market and just being kind of irritated because every time I went there, there was a constant flow of tra traffic. And you can't really see that in this footage since it was Sunday pretty close to everything closing down and it was the only time I could kind of sneak away from my booth and record some things. However, I will say the main attendants that did go to 2D Con and when they did show up in the artist alley, almost all of them probably bought something, which that just kind of goes to show about the Minneapolis area. Everybody's very quick to support the arts, which is why I love living here. 2 Con, if you're watching this, I'll give you some words of advice. Definitely have all the artists in one room and just have dealers in the market because having all the artists will equally drag all of the attendees' attention to go to the new room since the artist alley is so new. Previous attendees of 2 Con, most of them probably won't know that there's a new artist alley room and obviously I know there's issues with lost signage and stuff but that really shouldn't have happened and I understand you guys feel super bad about it but it just wasn't super professional but I will say I will definitely be coming back and I really really enjoyed vending at 2D Con. It was a very lovely experience um, even though some things were very disjointed but I definitely will be coming back so yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this weird little video. Um, I think I'm gonna plan on making more of these videos. My next convention is Anime Fusion. Um, I can't remember the address of it at the moment, but I'll put the website and the address of the venue that it's gonna be at, which is really fun. Cause I used to, like I had said earlier in the video, I used to attend Anime Fusion just as a regular attendee. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. And then after Anime Fusion, 
I'm gonna be doing Twin Cities Con, which is in the Minneapolis Convention Center. And I'm really, really excited for that one because that one's over like 10,000 attendees from what I've done. It was very vague numbers when I did my research, but that's besides the point. <laughs> I really hope one day I can do this full time. At the moment, I'm a student and working part-time and doing conventions on the side. During the summer, I was able to do conventions full-time and I can't really do that with the job I have now. Um, but I hope I can get back into doing them a lot more and I really miss having a convention to look forward to every single month. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, stick around, subscribe to the channel if you want. I don't really care. I'm kind of just doing this for fun. But yeah, bye.